What's up everybody, Robbie Oz here, and today we're talking all things Fan Craze Flash. I'm going to walk you through how to play, a little bit about the scoring and tactics. Alright, let's jump over to the computer. Alright guys, so this is tonight's game. Um, we're starting in one and a half hours, um, and I'm going to run you through, I guess, how to set things up. So far we've only had six NFTs, so this will be the best explanation of how things are at the moment. The Flash. Submit a set of six NFTs consisting of two batters, one bowler, one all-rounder, playing in a T20 game between Mumbai and Hyderabad. You'll need one NFT of a player from the squad, Team Chennai, in the 2022 Indian T20 League, and one NFT from Pack of the Day to complete this set. Now, just to give you guys a bit of an idea, this has changed a fair bit. We've had four batters, we've had two batters, two bowlers, um, and then the the team has been a few others. So you've had to pick one from Team New Zealand, um, stuff like that. Uh, and then the pack of the day changes every day, but it's actually pretty simple once you know the scoring, how to pick your pack of the day. Um, and with this Team Chennai, etc., it really does depend on the marketplace value. So we'll go into that. All right, so today we've got, as we said, two batters, one bowler, all-rounder, Team Chennai, pack of the day. Now, a few things here. Like I said, multipliers today, we've got 1.5 downwards. This has been up to as much of three. So obviously, when we get through that, that is a massive, massive deal. Uh, keepers can be used as batters. Uh, all-rounders can only be used in the all-rounders spot. We'll talk about scoring swap. I love this feature. You get one swap out during the first innings. Um, all right, so let's jump over. I've already set this up, but it's super easy. Basically, these are our batting slots up here. So when you click on it, it will show you the options that you have from your collection that you can pick in this side. And then you can buy a flash pack, which will have a bunch of NFTs in it. It even lists them here. So that you can get into the game for only $10. Um, I think it they're going to have this, so it has everything you need. This one didn't specifically have one of the teams, um, the, the fifth slot needed, but apparently they're adding that. Okay, and then um, this shows you the ones that you can buy that are on the marketplace right now for these spots. So if you didn't have enough and you didn't want to use the flash, you'd come here and you'd actually buy um, a few players to put into these slots. So I decided to go with Porin. And for now, Glenn Phillips, I think Glenn Phillips is going to get a run. Um, so I can easily swap him out for Markram. Uh, or Varma if needed. So that is no problems at all. Um, again, if there is a swap, so you've got to keep in mind, you want to leave someone in the bank that you might want to swap in. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll put the openers up here, and then that way, if, say, Glenn Phillips does play and he fails, I can swap him for Varma, who will come in later on, etc., etc. All right, we'll go over to our bowler. Again, you've got the different options that you own down here. And then the options that you can buy down here. Then we'll move on. Tim David, uh, he's my all-rounder again. Uh, you can see the difference between a flash NFT and um, a normal one. Obviously, there's lots of benefits. This guy's a rare. Um, so there's big time benefits for having your own versus getting the flash. You're definitely not getting as much value for a flash. Um, and then I can obviously see how Tim David goes. If I haven't already swapped out one of my batsmen, I'll swap out Washington Sundar straight into the team. Now, this is where it took us a little while to work this out. This is where your marketplace value comes in. So he's in that next Chennai spot. And what is really important here is there will be a 0 to 20 marketplace value there. And you get that. Right here, so marketplace activity is defined as number of transactions for the particular NFT divided by the number of released copies of the NFT. Now, um, so this is just a case of me going, okay, let's look at Bravo, for example. Now, Bravo, he's only got 17 listings, so there's not many for sale. There's very, very small amount for sale. Um, and just look at the sales history. It is pumping. There's so many pumping. Um, so he is almost definitely going to get the points today. So great by me. I, I actually um, picked that pretty early and then the price has gone up. So 
you can actually even just play the system like that um, if you want to make a little bit of profit along the way, but I'm definitely going in it for the win. All right, and then our last spot, Jason Roy, and there was three options here for this pack, and I'm just going to go through it super quickly with you just so you can get a little bit of an idea of my processes. All right, so these are our three packs of the days. Here are our three players. Uh, we've got Workhorse Level 3 for Cool. Now, let's go straight in here so we can say workhorse we're getting five points and level three for a player that is not playing is 19 so he's the worst so ideally we want at least a level two so it was pretty easy when i went to lamour and i'm like oh he's a level three and a pie chucker and then i'm like oh roy hitter and nft class two which means we're getting uh, class two which means we're getting 22 points and he's a hitter, so we're in the middle bracket there as well, getting five points for that. So that was a super easy decision. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Let's jump back into our team. Um, yes, and then you submit. And then you're looking at the multipliers. And obviously this just times the score. So you can get a little bit of a preview of what your players will get. It has actually been showing NFT level, but it's not tonight for some reason. But that's okay. Just remember, guys, this we're only like one week in. This is their first week. And this is such an addictive, fun game. And I've cashed every event so far, really enjoying it. And I think this is just going to take up. So get in, take it easy on the team. Um, they're super active in the Discord. Make sure you come in if you're not. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is what I was looking at. And um, I may adjust this as we get closer. Um, basically, the team gets announced in the last half an hour before the game. So really, once that is announced, these are just placeholders. So um, I will be doing a full video on tonight's game, the results, who won, what they did different to, to me. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to get... Um, I guess more detailed game by game um, analysis on each of them. Okay, so that is it for now, guys. Now I'm going to jump into the scoring for you. Now we're going to look at a previous completed game and we're going to view the results. So this one you can see, this is two batters, bowler, all-rounder, Team England, pack of the day. So we're going to look at what the winner did. Now, this is our 3x game, so obviously massive who you choose in these. As you can see here, um, He's gone for the 3x. He's got good NFT level, good serial. He got 15 dynamic points. Great choice. 80 total times three. Obviously massive. Kevin Peterson was the non-playing. Um, so he actually, because these are so high here, NFT rarity, NFT level, and 23, he did pretty well. Um, and the badge, but the marketplace points wasn't that great. So this is one of the rare instances where I think it's just such a good card points-wise that the marketplace points doesn't matter. Andre Russell had a good game, 20 dynamic points. Now they have bumped this up to 25, I believe. So um, the in-game uh, results have more effect on this, which I think is cool. Obviously winning team has five. Kane Williamson, obviously on the losing team, he probably would have swapped one of these out, I'm guessing, because Cam Williamson definitely didn't have the best game. So they've done really well to win, considering um, they didn't 100% nail it, but winning team, and here is that extra um, player. All right, guys, so we're going to jump into this one. As you can see, I came 37 $39, not bad at all. Uh, the winner got $425. Now, this is where that marketplace came in. So Sophie Devine, 20 marketplace points, absolutely massive. Um, there aren't many of her out there on the market, so that was something to look at. She's also an epic, and they had a good serial, so uh, massive on there. Jazwal um, had a good game, got some runs, 20 dynamic points, winning team five, winning team five, 20 dynamic points. They've absolutely nailed that, these guys. You can see why they won. Uh, K.O. Ryle Hull, 10 dynamic points. Quinnan de Kock. 15 dynamic points, Coldeep Yadav, 5. So um, that's pretty good all round. Uh, but this Sophie Divine, they've definitely nailed that one. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this super quickly. I don't really like ask me questions down low if you want a more detailed one. I do kind of go into it more during the game. So as we were talking about these levels, so please note if they're playing in the game, 
the higher level's good. If they're not playing in the game, the lower level's good. Um, the rarity, as we spoke about, I, I really think legendary should be higher. It should be 30, surely. Top 25%. So say, for example, if there's 900 total, let's let's go find one. So just say, for example, we wanted to buy one. What what would we be looking at? So firstly, epic, great, epic, great, 150. So there isn't many of them. So that's why that is so expensive. Then you've got these rares. You can see the price reflects that. Common, 28. Rare, rare. So just say, for example, Ishan Kishan, he's playing tonight. Um, he's got 675. So the top 25% of that would be in the top 168. So realistically, if I wanted to swap him in, I'd probably be jumping into here. I'm going to sort via lowest price, and I'm going to search for one that's in the top 168. So the first one out of all these cereals, right there, 62. So that's $150 to swap him into your team. So it is quite a lot. Uh, so just remember, a lot of these come in packs. So every now and again, they will release packs. Um, and you can see there's a booster pack here. It was $250 to get 10 NFTs. So realistically, definitely get on board with these packs when they come um, and and just know that you're going to get good value out of that. So we'll jump back over to here. I hope that made sense. Interactive score, obviously more runs, more wickets. Um, you can read more into that yourself, which is good to do and it depends how many people are obviously in there. As we spoke about, the match winner, etc. is only if they're not playing in the game. Winning team gets five, as I mentioned. Now this, I haven't really gone into this yet. So let's jump over to the marketplace and you'll see that some of these had badges. So there you go. He has a he has a world champ badge. So that is going to be world champ three points. If your player is not in the game, then but you have to pick him in your team, then you'll get those three points. So say for example, in mine tonight is bravo so if he has any it will go towards that guys i hope you enjoyed that i really just wanted to get, get you guys in as quick as possible now i've got one more thing to show you it's called token details and as you can see here this is my collection and i've put in all of my players um, uh, by adding in a collection and then when a team comes up to play you can just click on this you can see the guys that you do have the guys that you don't the prices so really guys head over and check out token detail now i think it was just one of the um, members of the the fan crew that made this i don't know it's amazing but whoever you are thank you we love you okay guys now please all your comments likes mean so much to me share this do whatever you can i've started completely fresh with this account um, i had 9,000 subscribers on my other one and i was getting bigger exposure but i thought it was worth making a fan craze channel just for you guys so we've done that um so your comments and everything means the world talk about it in the group let me know what you think i'll be in the discord 100 send me a message tag me robbie oz all right guys i hope you enjoy this i'll see you in the next video